Hey guys, for today's project we're making a DIY tree stump side table or accent table. And this is from a chunk of wood that we got down the street. The county was doing some tree trimming and they left behind several scraps, so we got one of the scraps. It's a little uneven on top, so we are going to be using power tools to just kind of cut off that top and just flatten it out a bit. But don't feel discouraged if you don't have power tools or access to them or someone that can cut the wood for you. You may be able to find a chunk of wood that is already flat enough to be able to use for this project. And we're also in the middle of working on a whole series of home decor projects so I hope you guys like these and we're gonna go ahead and head out to the carport and get started on our natural tree stump side table. Since our tree stump isn't flat on top and it does have that point we're gonna cut that off and make a flat surface on top. Michael's using a skill saw and sawzall and if you're lucky enough to find a tree stump that's already flat on top then you don't have to worry about this part. Next we're going to be sanding. So we're going to sand the surface of our table smooth and right now we're just working on this little extra chunk. This is going to be for a different project. Next we're going to treat the wood with tongue oil and this will help prevent drying out and cracking. It'll also help bring out the natural luster and shine and grain of the wood. And also you can do two coats, letting it sit in between after the first coat for 24 hours and then you can apply the second coat. And after applying the oil, we gave it a few days to soak in and dry down. We're going to do a whitewash finish on our tree stump table. So I'm taking some of this bare sea salt paint. I'm just going to add a little to my mixing container. And then add a splash of water and mix it up. And depending on how uh, sheer you want your whitewash to be, that determines how much water you want to add. And then I'm just taking a regular rag and I'm applying it with the grain of the wood. Our tree stem table is drying, so we're going to let that dry overnight and I'm going to get started on another little side project. I have these two tissue box holders that I got at the ReStore for 50 cents, um, two for 50 cents. My plan is to give these tissue boxes a makeover and use them as my orchid pots. So I'm using Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. This is their flat white primer and I'm just doing one coat of primer inside and out. And then after I let that dry, I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch in flat white. The typical size orchid pot is four and a half inches and square tissue boxes just happen to be a perfect fit. So for 25 cents you can't go wrong, especially since sometimes decorative pots can be a little on the pricey side. Now that our tree stump table is completely dry, I have it in the house and I'm going to add some crystals to it along with my orchid. I really like this piece of amethyst so I'm going to set this on the top shelf and then also this white quartz crystal I'll set on the second shelf. Love the texture of natural wood green and even when it's whitewashed that texture still comes through all right guys i'll let you go thank you so much for watching i hope you like this project and i hope to do more with you in the future have an awesome day you guys and i'll see you soon